Now that we have an understanding of the different bootstrap components and basic layouts, we can take a look at popular bootstrap themes and how they were developed. One of the best things about bootstrap is that it's open source. This means you have access to thousands of templates and themes, so it saves you time from having to code them from scratch. Remember, you can always build on and customize the themes that are available. A great resource for themes is startbootstrap.com. If we click the Browse Themes and Templates button, you'll see that they have several different themes to choose from. These are Most of them are free to use for commercial and personal use. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the Freelancer theme. We'll see how it was developed. To download it, click the Preview and Download button, and then click the Download button. Save the file onto your desktop. The file will download as a zip file. You'll need to extract the folder onto your desktop using any extraction utility such as WinZip or WinRAR. We'll do a quick overview of the theme. As you can see here, the layout is fluid. It expands and contracts with the browser. It also takes up the full width of the browser's content area. The navigation menu at the top is designed to collapse on small devices, such as handheld phones and tablets. Each navigation button will pull up a different section of the page. And we covered this type of effect in the last lesson where we developed the scroll spy layout. The rest of the sections are fairly simple. Below the navigation, we have a header with some content, just some text and an image. Below that, we have the portfolio section, which consists of three images. When each image is clicked, it launches a modal with some more information corresponding to the item that was clicked. We can exit the modal to get back to the main page. The About section contains a row with some content and a button. And the Contact section has some text content as well as a form using Bootstrap form components. There's also some validation, as you can see. Lastly, we have a footer that contains the location of the business, some social media buttons, and a snippet of text. We also have a row that contains some copyright text as well. And that's the entire theme in a nutshell. So in the next lesson, we'll take a look at the code that went into building this.